Hello and welcome to the MCSD Public Education Awareness Report, as we affectionately call it, The Pear Show. Thank you all for tuning in to get the latest news and updates from our beloved Muskogee County School District. September is School Attendance Awareness Month, and today we have a special guest from the Muskogee County School District's Guidance Department to give us some insight on the importance of school attendance and what parents need to know. So stay tuned, we have a great show today. We'll be right back after these messages. WIC is the Women, Infant, and Children's program that provides nutrition education, vouchers for healthy food, and even health screenings for your child. Qualifying for WIC for your children under five is based on your income and family size. Giving your family good food these days can be a challenge. If your child is under the age of five, on Medicaid or food stamps, you're eligible for WIC. The Women, Infant, and Children's program provides nutrition education and vouchers for healthy food. So call today and eat healthy tomorrow. And we are back. Thanks again for joining us. As I previously mentioned, September is School Attendance Awareness Month. We have with us today Ms. Tanya Lindsay to share the importance of school attendance awareness. Welcome, Ms. Lindsay. Thank you. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks for so much for coming to the show and joining us today. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what, about what you do at Muskogee County School District. I am a school social worker for Muskogee County School District. I've been with the district for 19 years. And as a school social worker, one of the main things that I do is monitor school attendance, as well as provide services to children and parents. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about the importance of school attendance. School attendance is very vital for all students who are able to learn anytime um, they're, uh, we service students from age of three all the way up to the age of 18, 19, 21 years old. Mm -hmm. So the importance of school attendance is that if you're not learning, if you're not in a, a situation or a school where you can learn and be productive, then you're not able to be successful as an adult. So our goal within Muskogee County School District is to make sure that we are educating our students so that they can be career and college ready. So uh, kindergarten, yes, is that required in the state of Georgia? In the state of Georgia, kindergarten is not a requirement in the state of Georgia. However, all parents or guardians who choose to enroll their student in a kindergarten program, mm -hmm. after that student remains a student for 20 days, they are then subject to remain in that school program. Okay. So what if a, a parent has a child that has a medical illness or some type of medical condition where they have to have many days out? So what happens with that? Yes, we have different plans to accommodate our, need, our needs for students who have medical illnesses. One, of, one plan is a 504 plan as well as hospital homebound. Okay. Hospital homebound is a uh, plan where a teacher will provide, uh, come to the residence and mm -hmm. provide class instruction to the student. So how much instructional time does a child miss when he misses one day, he or she misses one day of school? We're looking at maybe 420 minutes wow. a day. Wow. Yes. So uh, being in the classroom as much as possible is the best uh, option for all students. Mm -hmm. um, as our leader likes, likes to say, mm -hmm. Dr. Lewis, mm -hmm. you can't teach an empty seat. That's so right. if our students are not in school, they're not learning and therefore they're not excelling. So what do you consider, or is there such thing as chronic absenteeism? Yes, anytime a student has misses at least 10% of the school year, mm -hmm. and for our students that would be at least 18 days, and those days can be excused, unexcused, or suspensions. Mm -hmm. So anytime a student has at least 18 absences a year, they're considered chronic. Okay, so what is the Muskogee County Attendance Panel? The Muskogee County Attendance Panel is a panel that meets once a month. Mm -hmm. They consist of various organizations that come together and they listen to truancy cases that is brought before them by school social workers. Mm -hmm. And their objective is to provide a plan of procedure for the social worker in mm -hmm. order to move forward. This is a panel that we try not to be punitive. The goal is to provide resources unto the student as well as the parent. Okay. So with the new school start times, yes, what is considered tardy for a child? A child is tardy if they're not in the seat at the beginning of the class mm -hmm. day. So if elementary begins at 7.40 a.m., mm -hmm. if that student, if that scholar is not in their classroom by that time, they're considered tardy. 
Wow. So if they're okay. walking in the building or even walking to class, they're still, they're still tardy. And that, that um, goes for middle school as well as high school. Okay, so how does attendance affect academics and standardized testing? Attendance affects academics and standardized testing. Going back to um, what I stated before, if the student is not in the classroom, they're not able to gain that classroom instruction that's taught by the teacher. So therefore, when it's time to prepare for a test, a quiz, mm -hmm. they're not prepared. They're missing out on that standardized um, different objectives and they're not able to really excel the different standards of each grade level. So that prepare, prepares them to be able to pass a standardized test. Okay, this is great information that I'm sure a lot of parents are interested in finding out. Is there any way or a phone number or contact information that you can give us or that you can share with parents if they wanna know if more information about attendance awareness? Of course, yes. Um, parents, uh, guardians are able to contact the Muskogee County Guidance Department that contact number is 706-748-2226. Thank you so much, Ms. Thank Lindsay, you. for joining us thank today. You, that concludes our show for today. As always, thank you for tuning in to The Pear Show. See you next time.